Hello friends, welcome to Ezayola Online English. Today I need to make this video because one of my students really uh, came up with a kind of question in the comment section. He or she probably is a kind of confused and demanded that I should explain, give a kind of clear explanation on situations where group of words are functioning as names, maybe noun phrase or noun clause in expressions. So the person demanded I should a kind of throw light so that doubts will be cleared. And I decided to make this video. Now, if you look at the board, we have three sentences. We have sentence number one, number two, number three. Now, from sentence number one, we have Prince is nice, and we underline the word prince. You can see. The second one, the intelligent boy is nice, okay? And we did underline the intelligent boy. Now, we have the third uh, expression. The intelligent boy that studies hard is nice, okay? Now, what do we notice? From the first expression, prince is nice. Prince here is seen as a name, okay, in the sentence, all right? And this kind of name, what do we have to learn here? This is what we call noun, just noun, because it is the kind of name that involves a single word, all right? A single word that functions as a name in a sentence, we call it noun, okay? So, we have prince to be a noun. Now, another important thing for situations where possible confusion could arise, you now ask, is it possible to replace this name with a pronoun? Of course, yes. What is a pronoun? Pronouns are those words that serve as replacement to the names. Situations where we don't want to have a kind of monotony in the use of names, we could choose to substitute such names with pronouns. So if we decide not to mention Prince, it's possible to say, he is nice, all right? He is nice. So this is possible to tell us that Prince here is a name. If Prince is not a name, the he wouldn't possibly replace it. So that's by the way. Secondly, we have the intelligent boy is nice. All right? So what do we notice here? This is group of words. And this group of words, of course, is equally serving as a name. What kind of name do we call this? We call this noun phrase. Why noun phrase? Because, of course, we have something we equally call noun clause. So why do we call this a noun phrase? Number one, we have the head word, which is a boy. This is the head word, a boy. All right? Boy. That's the head word. And the head word must be a noun in the case of noun phrase. Secondly, we have other elements like they and intelligent. All right? Where do they belong? Intelligent here is... An adjective describing the boy. This is what we call determiner, which is a definite article. Of course, the definite articles are equally belonging to the adjectives, all right? So we have determiner, definite article, adjective, and boy. Blending the three together, we have the concept such as the intelligent boy. So this is what we call noun phrase, okay? This is a noun phrase. Now, the function of noun phrase in sentence, of course, it is equally serving as a name in a sentence. So in this expression, the noun phrase is a kind of name that involves group of word without a finite verb. That's why it is a noun phrase. Remember, it is also possible to replace this with the pronoun he. The intelligent boy is nice. It's possible to say he is nice. Who is nice? The intelligent boy. So this is a noun phrase, okay? 
Now, finally, we have the third one. The third one says, the intelligent boy that studies hard is nice. Okay? And we took our time to underline the intelligent boy that studies hard. If you look at this, the intelligent boy that studies hard could also serve as a name in this expression. If I come across such boy, I wouldn't know his name for any reason it's possible. Then I happen to know him as an intelligent boy who studies hard. I could choose to address him that way. If I come across him, I will address him as, wow, the intelligent boy that studies hard. Come on, give me a handshake. That's a name I have chosen to address him with. All right? So that's a name. Now, but this kind of name, what do we call it? This is what we call noun clause. All right? Why noun clause? Noun clause because, of course, we know that clauses, whether main clause or subordinate clauses, they must, you know, have the presence of finite verbs in them. Just like we have here, we have the, which is an article, intelligent, which is what? An adjective, like I told you. This is boy, and boy here is a noun. Then this is what we call relative pronoun, that. Studies is the verb, studies hard. And this is a kind of adverb of manner. Now, because of the fact that we have studies here, which is a verb, as part of the underlying expression, that makes it a noun clause. Remember, if we have taken our time to underline the entire words that came together as a group, okay? Now, this entire word or words that came together as a group, if you look at them critically in this particular sentence, they are serving the function of name. They are standing out as name in this expression, okay? Yes, they are that's the subject we are talking about. We are talking about somebody here. And who is that? What's the name of the person? The intelligent boy that studies hard is nice. Now, it's also possible for you to understand for certainty that this is a name. Replace. Try replacing it with a pronoun. You can as well say, he is nice. Who is nice? The intelligent boy that studies hard. Now, when they ask you who is nice, you need to mention the name of the person that is nice. And what's the name of the person? The intelligent boy that studies hard. Have you seen that this is a name also? But what kind of name? We call it noun uh, clause. The second one, noun phrase. While the first one is just a noun because it is a name that involves a single word. I wouldn't know if your doubt has been cleared. However, go ahead and make your comment in the comment section. Thank you very much. Welcome to Ezayola Online English.